until you see bridge mode. There you go. Hi, and welcome back. I have something very special for everyone today. For those ones who have BAL service and for those who are signing up for BAL service, specifically fiber internet from BAL. So there's a new way I found out recently, much easier for the end user to enable bridge mode on the GigaHub from BAL. I found this website recently, pawn.wiki. And right here, they talk on how to enabling bridge mode. I actually spoke to Bell about this. Uh, I had mixed feelings from them. I received mixed feelings. It sounds like they really don't want to enable bridge mode, but technically they can enable it remotely. But you can do it yourself. Basically, you have to hold the reset button and OK button for seven seconds. By my testing, it's actually a lie. You have to hold it for nine seconds. And what it does, it literally tells you what it does. It disables lots of this stuff. Disables Wi-Fi, disables USB port, disables uh, DHCP server. Basically, the Giga Hub becomes a medium converter. You're obviously gonna lose IPTV service and maybe even phone service that you're getting through the Giga Hub, but you're gonna get dumb medium converter where you can configure your own router with PPPoE credentials, and your router will get the public IP address and it will be doing all the routing. At the same time, you also have an option to disable bridge mode for whatever reason you need to. Same procedure, almost same procedure. You hold the reset up and down for seven seconds, technically nine seconds in my testing, and bridge mode will be disabled. So yeah, let's get to it. I'm gonna show you the process in person or not in person through the video. The next morning. So here is my gateway unit. I'm gonna turn on the screen and I wanna look at the service status. And I have internet, that's all I have. I don't have anything else. No phone service, no TV service. Now let's go back. So if you look from the right side of the Giga Hub, or even the 4000, the Hub 4000, you'll see the reset button. And you're gonna need to hold that for about 10 seconds, including the OK button right here. So I normally start holding the reset button first and then followed by the OK button. And you'll see this on the screen and keep holding it until you see bridge mode. There you go, let go and bridge mode is basically being enabled right now. At this point you're basically finished. I'm going to verify a few things. I'm again, I'm going to wake up, service status, and here you have bridge mode. Now, I also recommend for best practices, you do a reboot. I'm gonna press this button right here, go up and do a restart. And there you go, you're finished. You can go back to your computer and start configuring PPPoE credentials on your gateway unit. Also, just to recap, you wanna connect your gateway unit to this ethernet port. That one over here is 10 gigabits per second maximum uh, bandwidth not to these ones even if your unit is not 10 gigabits per second you still want to use that ethernet port just for best practices especially it's a shielded ethernet port as you can see two thousand years later so yeah in conclusion that's how you put it into bridge mode just hold the ok button and the reset button for 10 seconds or until you see that bridge mode message on the screen and you have bridge mode enabled and same thing is basically almost the same thing to the Sybil bridge mode. You hold the reset up and down for 10 seconds, I would say, and it disables it. It will say something along those lines. And it will also factory reset itself after you disable bridge mode. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.